Welcome back to the charismatic voice. I never really cared about rock music until I met you. And now it chills me to the bone. Heart is one of the many bands that I wouldn't have known about without your recommendations. And I can honestly say that without a doubt, my love for music and my life has expanded because of this channel. Thank you very much. I wanna shout out a big thanks as well to the sponsor for today's video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp has also improved my life through online therapy. I like to think about therapy like leveling up. Sometimes you desperately need therapy to help you get to the next point, and I have been there. And sometimes you can use therapy to just help you process your thoughts and your emotions so you can reduce stress and increase your overall quality of life. Regardless, if you're struggling with a clinical mental health challenge or you're just a human living in a world that presents all kinds of daily challenges, therapy can help. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy affordable and accessible for everyone. As a new mom and business owner, it is very difficult for me to schedule an appointment that is away from my home and my child. I know that many of you are joining us from rural or remote areas where you don't have access to an in-person therapist. BetterHelp makes therapy possible through excellent online service. And it's easy to sign up. There is a link in the description it's betterhelp.com slash charismatic voice. I love how quickly and painlessly they can match you with a good therapist. You just fill out a few questions online and BetterHelp will match you with somebody in as little as a few days. And if you don't click with your first therapist, which is super, super common in therapy, you can switch. You can change therapists really easily. You don't have to worry about insurance if they're in network or any extra costs. One of the things that's improved for me recently due to therapy is that I'm learning how to establish better boundaries between my work life and my family life. So I feel like I'm able to thrive while creating content and be an awesome mom at the same time. If you'd like to join me in leveling up or if you need some support through a tough time, I hope that you will consider online therapy with BetterHelp. You can click the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash charismatic voice. Thank you again to BetterHelp for supporting both me and this channel. Now let's dig in to some music. I really like the setting of the words here and the space that they left between end though and alone. Really, really beautiful um, setting of that. And Ann Wilson's vocal is just gorgeous. It's incredible. It has so much emotion and precision at the same time. I love that combination as a vocal nerd and, and uh, emotion what do I call myself, a vampire? No, I, I, yes, I want to just suck up all of the emotion in a musical performance, but I don't want to take it away from somebody. So uh, I, I guess I will say appreciator, but there's probably a better word for that. Let me know in live chat if you think of a better one. I'm going to go back to the beginning. I was really intrigued by the sound of the keyboard. It doesn't sound like it's a, an acoustic piano. There's definitely some extra elements on top of that. So I'm going to try and figure out what they are. So even though we see uh, really kind of the outline of a grand piano here, it sounds like this is more of a synthesizer. It definitely sounds like there's extra stuff. I hear a little extra clicking in there. You don't usually hear that from a grand piano. You'll hear maybe a little bit of action in the keys, meaning the mechanics that are behind and, and hitting the strings in the piano. Maybe you'll hear a pedal, but I'm not even hearing a, a pedal in there. So I'm thinking this is some sort of synthesized sound that was played on a keyboard. There's a, it's like a sharper attack as well. 
piano hammers have felt on them. So when they strike the string, there's a softness that's still there, even though it's percussive in the striking. There's also an interesting sort of reverb. That's probably in post, though. I hear the ticking of the clock. I'm lying here, the room's pitch dark. She's got such a good voice. I wonder where you are tonight. No answer on the telephone. It's just, it's so beautiful how clear and gathered her sound is, but as she goes down and sort of into the lower ranges there, there's just a like a pillowy balloon kind of sound. It's, it's so comforting yet longing at the same time. It's a beautiful timbre. She's extraordinary natural voice. I, there's another thing in here that I love about it, and that is the way she starts into the phrase. It's got a little, just like just a tiny bit of leaning in there. You can hear that longing in that very first moment she says I. She even has a little extra air escape right before it. <laughs> Gosh. You can hear there's that leaning in there again. I say leaning because it, to me, it sounds like a certain leaning on the support, a leaning in the sound, meaning that there's like a little extra pressure that sounds like it's actually happening inside of her body, which brings just a teensy bit more angst into the emotion of the sound. And the night goes by so very slow. Right there. This woman has some of the most clear and beautiful ends that I've ever heard. I know, super nerdy, specific compliment, but listen to end though, and alone, the way she sings to those ends is so, it's clear, it's pristine, it doesn't take you out of the phrase at all. When you sing an N, all of the sound that's been redirected out of your mouth or that's been directed so far out of your mouth gets redirected through your nose because your tongue is closing off that area for the air to escape through your mouth. Go, mm. This is why it's often called a nasal consonant, right? It's gonna, an N closes the mouth front and everything then goes through the open soft palate through the nose. Now to do that and maintain clarity in the sound and also maintain the same timbre, some people will learn how to do that naturally, but doing it this well, I think requires an extra level of precision. It's focused, really focused. That was a, a great diphthong transition into the N, and there's an extra little delicious nasal uh, taste in there that helped bring it uh, to that consistency, which we're gonna go back and listen to a few times. But first, I have a question. If you're there with me in that live premiere chat, can you tell me, is this placed in a movie somewhere? I vaguely recognize it, the melody sounds familiar, and I feel like, I feel like it must have been in a film. I don't know, it's very vague. So let me know if it was placed there or if there's another spot where the song has been played somewhere. Because again, I, I vaguely recognize the melody, 
Uh, definitely have never heard this more than a, like a couple times in passing, if, if that, but it seems familiar. Okay, back. Oh, there's that beautiful end. One of them. Oh my gosh. I love that you have two sisters harmonizing here, right? Anne and Nancy Wilson. They are such a powerhouse together. I love that kind of, ah, that kind of female drive that you hear in their voices. There's ambition there. These are two women who are chasing after something that wasn't that common for women to chase after at the time. And I, they own it. <laughs> It's brilliant. Not to mention that the vocal technique and the, it's fairly high to have that much thickness in the chords. They have a fairly heavy sound that high. It's very nicely supported. Oh gosh. Okay, there's that diphthong to end moment. O is a diphthong, meaning that you have two different vowels that are combined into one sound. O and O, O, lone. Most people are not aware that that's got two sounds in it at first, and then they go, oh my gosh, my mouth does move as I'm going through that vowel. O, and you feel your lips close, which makes it go from an O to an O. And then it goes to an N. And she actually starts to send that air through her soft palate by percentages more than I think she would normally do on an ooh because she's going towards an in. This is a very gradual transition. And so you don't want it to be super, in her case, I don't think she wanted it to be super stark. It wasn't all through the mouth and then all through the nose. So she actually has essentially a, a gradient that she's going on of how much soft palate drop is happening so that it gradually transfers to all the way through the nose. Go back. We're going to go back a few times and listen to that. Did you catch how it went nasal? It actually almost sounds like it's got a little bit of an NG that starts to enter it, which would be the dropping off the soft palate. <laughs> Gosh. This is, this is a steamy song. <laughs> I have to say, whew, those, uh, those lyrics are, are hot. <laughs> wow. Oh, nice, nice writing there. And her execution of the lyrics is so perfect. There are moments when she adds a little more vibrato to add that vulnerability into the sound. And I especially love the way that she uses her breath. It is so important to make it so that your breath is part of the whole delivery. It isn't just there to support the voice. Yes, you have to breathe first in order to sing. You breathe and then you phonate, meaning your vocal folds come together and they go wacka, wacka, wacka to create a pitch. Breathe, phonate, and then shape in some way, meaning that you shift things up here to create a vowel or maybe direct a sound through your mouth or through your nose. That's shaping. And it is important for all of that to happen. You have to breathe first, but your breath can go to the next level by becoming a part of the message. If you listen to how she audibly uses her breath in here and how she uses it to sort of start the flow into singing before she even starts phonating, it's beautiful how she has incorporated it into her entire message. Right there. 
wanted to touch it. That that little bit of an audible gasp there is the wanting that she's she's singing about. Don't know how long I have wanted to touch your lips and hold ah. And there was a great example of that vulnerable vibrato right there. I love that ending too, too. You don't know how long I have waited, and I was going to you tonight. That harmony was so perfect. It was delicate, yet. Um, that had a certain squareness to it at the same time and the movement of it so it was a little bit blocky and then the blend was gorgeous I mean my gosh I wish I could hear the two of them acoustically live together that must be so so incredible There is something about genes and how that can make family members sound really awesome together. It doesn't always happen, but having grown up in a musical family, I can I can say it's often just easier to blend with somebody that is in your family, maybe because the bone structure is more similar. Um, maybe there are just lots of mannerisms in how you enunciate things that are second nature. And... Sometimes you find that you'll find your perfect duet partner out there, which it's almost like you guys maybe came from similar genes at some point and there's that same sort of instinct, but it's just, I think, easier a lot of times to find within family. Um, and it's so cool to hear these two together and hear the way that their enunciation is perfectly in sync, the way that there's a similarness in the tone quality while it's two, two different people still. It's beautiful. I could talk endlessly about how good this is. Heart is excellent through and through. Let's keep going for now. There's that breath. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The way she did a, a thing with a pitch there that did a dip and then back up. And it was so obvious because she's often just so specifically right there on pitch. <sighs> Gosh. Well, the secret is still my own. And my love for you is still that is, that's so cool. Oh. Okay, so the chorus instruments started in there, and I thought, what happened? In this version, do we not have the chorus vocals? Why, why do I not have any vocals here? I feel like I should be having vocals right now. And I had so much anticipation building, thinking, when is the vocal going to come in? Oh, no. Ah, I must have the wrong version. Having the wrong version on YouTube haunts me, by the way. Thank you for your recommendations. And I appreciate the version recommendations, too, when you guys put them, because sometimes I end up watching the wrong version first, and it can ruin so many things. That said, I was so scared that this was the wrong version, and then she came in with that freakishly awesome belt. We're going to go back. <laughs> that is so good <laughs> so her vocal folds when they're really high here still have a lot of thickness in them meaning that she's taking up 
a heavy sound or like a heavy engagement in the vocal folds. And when you have that uh, heaviness, it can be a little bit hard to lift that really high. Um, it's like lifting a motorcycle or lifting a semi, right? But if you sort of channel that through a really narrow focus, it can be easier on the voice. And that's what she does. She has almost like a squeal that's going together with a thicker sound. And then there are these moments where she has almost little break or rasp in the sound as she's coming down. And it's so emotional and powerful. And it makes me guffaw with joy. <laughs> I love it. Gosh, it's so powerful. Wow. I love the fullness of the sound and the ring on it and the efficiency of it. Her tone and both of their tone qualities are to die for. They're perfect. I think that was a little kiss in there. Cute. <laughs> I love the smile too. Epic guitar solos are awesome. And it's even more awesome when I see how flexible uh, Nancy is in her quads. Like, oh, <laughs> that's impressive. And playing guitar the whole time. This is a really fantastically shot music video. I It definitely looks like they're pulling from a live performance as well, which is really cool. I love the way that they're layering everything in there. It feels very glamorous. And I love the big reverb that matches everything here. It feels like it's in a massive space and it's really, really epic. I'm gonna go back again. <gasps> wow. Yeah, quad flexibility. I can't speak enough about how well this sound is produced. They are singing with such beautiful chord closure here, meaning that I'm not scared about the voice breaking apart unless she wants to do some sort of cool effect on it. Uh, and it, that's both in, in lead and harmony. It sounds, it's pristine and powerful and clear. You're able to hear all of the words and there's passion. I mean, I am just floored by how good the vocals are. <sighs> Regular great vibrato. Ooh, hey, there was that switch in the diphthong again and the way it shifted back towards um, becoming a little more nasal as well. This one switches more. Did you hear it? Ooh. 
Ooh, I love how that outro echoed the beginning of the song. We had some fantastic bookends. And if you guys wanna see some more analysis of heart, you can check out a playlist over here. Please take care of your mental health as well. If you wanna learn more about BetterHelp, there's a link below. And may you fall more in love with music every day.